Hey, today I'm working on a website for a photographer, an oral historian, so it's a really interesting project. But I found myself needing to organize the images and videos that we're adding to the website a little better. So I wanted to walk you through how I'm using the asset library and some pitfalls to avoid that I have fallen prey to. So uh, when you log into your website over on the left, you can click on asset library and you'll just see a whole bunch of images here. So this is all of the images and videos you've loaded to your site. They all live here. And what I've started doing is I've started to create folders. So in the upper right, you can click new and add a folder. So let's do that here. And this is going to be for the private investigator. So I'm going to call this PI. And I realized that I had accidentally um, added some of the private investigator photos to the racetrack. So these guys, I'm going to click these and then click the little folder to move them to the correct folder. Now earlier, when I was trying to do this, I am, um, oh, and this lie detector setup actually goes there too. Uh, all right, when I was trying to do this earlier, I made the mistake of creating a new folder here. Um, and I'm just gonna call this test because what I did not realize is that if I create a folder here, it's gonna add it inside this. So you can actually have nested folders. So inside racetrack, I now have this, but what I wanted to do was add one to the main area. And to do that, you have to go back to all files and add it there. So let's go ahead and we'll just get rid of this folder. All right. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you was let's go into miscellaneous here. Um, these are, this is the fav icon or browser icon or fav icon. Yeah, I guess you can call it three things. Uh, and this is a screenshot of the color palette that I'm using for this website. This goes on a help page on the back end for the client. But if I were to delete this, then what I can do is I can go into the trash and I can restore it. And when I click restore, fingers crossed, it's going to put it back in the folder for me. Indeed, I have restored it correctly. All right. So pitfall one is creating folders when you're inside a folder, if you don't want it to live inside that folder. Pitfall two is deleting something, but you can recover because if you go into trash, you can put it back where it was before. Now to move items, you just click everything that you want to move. Um, and so you can select more than one and click the move icon down at the bottom, the little folder icon, and we'll move that into the correct folder. And that leaves us with one more project. So here I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to call this Bayou create and if you click on, let me do that again, sorry. If you click on the first file and hold down shift on your keyboard and click the last one, it will select all of the ones in between for you. Mm -hmm. And that makes it a little easier to go ahead and add those in and let's get those moved. So now we have a nice tidy file system on the back end. Now, how does this work inside? So if we go back to private investigators, and we're looking here and we want to check out this one. Maybe we want, want to replace that and we select from library. We're actually going to see the folders here. So you can make your life easier in a lot of ways by using folders to organize everything. So when you come back to work on the site later, you kind of understand where things live. You can also upload directly into the asset library. So if you're optimizing a lot of images and you wanted to upload them directly here, you can certainly do that. So we can just make a test folder here. Ooh, test, there we go. Great, let me go into the folder first. Try this again, upload files. We'll give it a moment. Ah, okay, so there's an indicator on the bottom right of the screen. Maybe I just moved out of it too quickly. So here are the images, they're all loaded here. And that way, when you're working on the website later, if you do batch process your images, you can find everything that you've optimized and added here first. So that's how I'm using the asset library. I hope that you found this helpful and I wish you the best of luck with your website.